Welcome to Unit Circle Survival Guide. Let's find the exact value of the secant of 225 degrees using the SARC method. So here's an outline of the SARC method, and you can use this template if you like to keep your information organized. And so SARC is just an acronym to help us remember the order of the steps. S stands for sketching the angle's terminal side. A stands for ASTC, which is what we use to know which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. R stands for reference triangle. So we'll find the reference angle, the special right triangle that goes with it, and the coordinates. And then C stands for calculate. We'll calculate the trig ratio for a secant of 225. So if you need help with any of these skills, I'll put a link in the video description that will break down each of these skills so you can get help with any of them that you need. So now, secant of 225. Let's start by sketching the terminal side of this angle. It's a positive angle, so it rotates counterclockwise. 0, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. So we know 225 falls exactly halfway between 180 and 270. Our terminal side is in quadrant 3. So now we're ready to use ASTC to decide if our final answer is positive or negative. So think all students take classes working from quadrant one around counterclockwise, and it tells you which trig functions are positive in these quadrants. So all are positive in the first, sine and its reciprocal cosecant in the second, tangent and its reciprocal cotangent in the third, so that's what we really care about for this um, exact value, but then cosine and its reciprocal secant are positive in the fourth. So we're looking at our angle, it's in quadrant three, only tangent and cotangent are going to be positive, thus the secant of 225 must be negative. So let's go ahead and mark that. All right, now that we've gotten the sign out of the way, we are just going to work with our coordinates and our angles in the first quadrant. Um, so in our calculation, we won't have anything about negative signs because we've already decided our final answer will be negative. And this just simplifies it a little bit, prevents some errors. Okay, so first let's find the reference triangle. And we need our reference angle, which is just the amount of rotation from the terminal side to the x-axis. So think 225 minus 180. All right, that's 45 degrees. So we're working with our 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. And from our knowledge of those types of triangles, we know that the corresponding ordered pair must be square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. All right, now we're ready to calculate. Let's remind ourselves of the trig ratio for the secant of an angle. So the secant of an angle in, um, on the unit circle is just the reciprocal of cosine, which is the x-coordinate. So the secant ratio is 1 over x on the unit circle. All right, well, our x is square root of 2 over 2, so we have 1 over square root of 2 over 2. And we just need to do a little bit of work here to simplify. So 1 divided by a fraction just ends up giving you the reciprocal of that fraction in the denominator. And of course, we don't want to leave that as our answer. We can't have a radical in the denominator, so we need to rationalize. So just multiply by root 2 over root 2. So we get 2 root 2 over 2. And of course, those 2s are a common factor, so they cancel out. So our value is root 2. So the secant of 225, we already said it was negative. It's going to be negative square root of 2. All right, so that's all there is to it. And if you want more examples that are worked out, I'll put a link to that in the video description, um, as well as that link to help with the basics. Thanks for watching.